According to a new Harvard study, aliens might be living among us right here on Earth, disguised as humans. And all the UFO sightings we hear about, those are just spaceships from other planets coming to visit their alien friends here on Earth. So who are these aliens living among us? They're called crypto-terrestrials. They're highly advanced, incredibly deceptive, and they're capable of hiding in plain sight. There are several theories on the origins of these crypto-terrestrials. Some speculate an advanced ancient civilization was destroyed, with only a few surviving in secrecy, possibly in the base on a moon. And we don't know for certain where these crypto-terrestrials are from, or even if they exist, but one thing's for certain. Many believers think that the government knows more than they're letting on. A Pentagon official came forward this week revealing their seven-minute encounter with a glowing turquoise UFO, which gave off enough energy to power a city. That official isn't alone. More UFO whistleblowers are breaking their silence and exposing what they've seen. Watch. Oh my gosh. They're all going against the wind. The wind's 120 knots to the west. Oh, that thing, dude. It's rotating. Oh my gosh, dude. Wow. Look at it. Look at it fly. The biological anthropology so professor who conducted this study, Michael Masters, joins us now. Okay, professor. Have you seen one of these, what are they called, crypto-terrestrials living among us? <laughs> I, I have not seen one personally, no. And actually, the, the study is a very conservative approach to this question. As you did a great job highlighting in your, your intro piece there, this is a real phenomenon, and we need to take it seriously, and we need to start asking the questions about what are they, who are they, where are they coming from, potentially when are they coming from, and even could they have set up shop here on Earth in the past and be living amongst us? Wow, you capacity? say it's a real phenomenon. How do we know it's a real phenomenon? I mean, if you look across time and space, these have been reported for millennia. And even if you don't want to take that at face value, look at the cockpit videos, look at all of the reports by military police officers whose testimony we can certainly take seriously because they're trained to identify things that are a threat and they're trained to identify things that are unexplainable. And there's so many cases where they do report just that. So the difference is we all see these things or hear about them visiting, right, in the spaceship or there's a sighting. But this study takes it a step further. It's saying they're living among us. Does that mean, like, Gutfeld's an alien and he's just disguised as a cable TV host? It's it's certainly uh, it's certainly possible, and I would look into that because you never know. Um, yeah. But we should we should take the question of UFOs seriously. What we're trying to do is offer a grounded scientific approach to some possibilities about what they might be. So yeah, there there have been other proposals as well. Me personally, I've written three books about whether they could be future human time travelers coming back to visit their own past, and in the same way I would as a biological anthropologist if I had access to that technology, and that is one of the possibilities we include in this paper as well. Oh, I would do that too. I'd go back in time. I, I'd play high school football you? all over again. And I'd do so much better. <laughs> and and you right. know what the other team's going to do because exactly. you're from the future. I'd pick off every pass. Yeah. It'd be great. All right, Michael mm -hmm. Masters, thank you again. I got to research some of your studies a little further. Have a great weekend.